Hello, what's going on everyone? My name is Mick Ambrose. Welcome to All About Tech. Today is Friday again. I feel like every time I make one of these videos, it's just that... It's just that certainty that I've, I've got to go to work now for the whole weekend. But, um, what I want to talk about today is... And, it, and it's something that not a lot of people are aware of. But it is something that will shock many people and it's 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 the figures of um of what everything's worth around the world compared to cryptocurrency and it it just shows how much potential and how much of an opportunity cryptocurrency has to 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 really gain so much value um this isn't going to be a price prediction or this isn't going to be like a market prediction but it is going to be some real some real information based on everything out there which to me just screams out the opportunity for cryptocurrency as 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 an asset to grow so much in value in the future so if i go to the display capture and i found a really useful article here that very very simply explains all 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 what every well everything everything with value in the world basically and right at the bottom of the list, you have silver. I don't want to like give too much away. I'm going to go to the arrow so that I don't give away too much too early. But if you look at silver, sil silver's total worth is, is, is $17 billion. And bearing in mind, this is a little bit outdated. Well, it's roughly six months outdated. So the figures would have changed slightly, but not by an awful lot. Um, the only one that would have changed is cryptocurrencies. Um, if you look at cryptocurrency, now as a whole, now the market cap is. If we go onto Coin Market Cap, the market cap is currently standing at four hundred and twenty-one billion. I'm not going to read the entire number because that'd be silly. But um, if you look at that total market cap. And then we go through this. It just shows the potential that's there. The biggest companies in the world equate to not even a trillion dollars. Um, well, that made it sound like it's really small. It is. It, obviously, it's a lot of money. And these are just companies. These are just um, just 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 six of the biggest companies in the world. And then you look at the the fiftieth richest people in the world. And just the 50th richest people in the world, I mean, I know Jeff Bezos has, um, has overtaken Bill Gates now for wealth, but $1.9 trillion, and that's, and that's just in people, and that's absolutely ridiculous. Look at California's GDP, $2.9 trillion. We look at the Fed's balance sheet. 4.5 trillion dollars now obviously these figures will differ a little bit now but for the purposes of this video it's still completely completely um completely relevant and then we look at the world's currency and the world's currency is at 7.6 trillion um dollars and bearing in mind the euro takes takes a large a large chunk of that the dollar takes a large chunk of that, and then the yen, and, um, well, I don't actually know what Japan uses as a currency, that's really bad, <laughs> but, there, and then, and then the rest of the world's currency, and bearing in mind, just to make this really simple, each block represents a hundred billion dollars, so the whole crypto market at the moment is four blocks, and these are all separate things, so all of these add add them together it's 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 a substantial amount of money you look at gold gold sitting at 7.7 .7 trillion dollars and that's and that's gold that's a physical that's a physical piece of metal that people view as a store of value and it costs a lot to mine gold it costs a lot to store gold but people see it as a straw of value and people turn to it when other markets aren't doing well. Um, you look at the stock markets. Now, this this is where it starts to get really, really ridiculous now. Stock markets. 
is sitting at $73 trillion. And bear in mind, stock markets are just like stocks of like all the companies and stuff. Cryptocurrency is basically the stock market for cryptocurrencies, in a way. I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I know it works differently, because obviously it's, it's cryptocurrencies are actual currencies. But the projects behind cryptocurrencies are technically businesses. I mean, you look at Electronium, they're, they're a business. I mean, Bitcoin doesn't have a, um, a company. They're just, they're just like a community of developers. But if you look at that, $73 trillion. And we've still not scratched the surface yet. You look at the global money supply. The narrow money, which is the total value of money's easily accessible money, $36.8 trillion. And that includes coins, banknotes, and checking deposits. And let's let's be completely clear: who uses coins anymore, really? I mean, I I use my card for everything. So we're 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 moving into this this digital this digital era where nobody is actually using physical money anymore i mean i know a lot of a lot a lot a lot of places will still be using physical money but you look in a lot of west a lot of um a lot of a lot of um western countries and everyone's using their bank cards everyone's i pay for if it's un if it if it, if it works on contactless i use my phone i don't even get my wallet out i just use my phone it's because because it's simple you don't need to carry cash around with you anymore and I think, and this is what gives cryptocurrency such an advantage, because it's just all digital. It's all it's, and especially once they develop it into something that's extremely easy to use for everyone to use. It's it's a game changer. You look at the broad money, which is the total. It's the it's the total value of the world's money. Ninety trillion dollars. Ninety trillion. You look at at the moment now, 92%, and this is what I was just going into just now, 92% of 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 the world's economy now is non-physical because nobody is using physical money anymore, which gives cryptocurrency a good advantage for the future. I don't think cryptocurrency will replace traditional traditional money like the dollar, the euro, the pound, the yen, but it gives people that option and i think it's what gives people that option and this option can be used worldwide the euro can only be used in in european countries the pound can only be used in england and gibraltar gibraltar i think i'm i'm pretty sure gibraltar still take well yeah they will do this the united states only 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 take the dollar and cryptocurrency gives that opportunity for everywhere to use the same the same currency it's not going to replace these these currencies no i don't i don't believe it will but to give people that option that worldwide option where everyone in the world will have something in common yeah they use bitcoin yeah they use ethereum yeah they use electronium um this is it's it's hugely important to, to to understand that the world at the moment we're we're in a we're in a huge transitional stage when it comes to when it comes to moving everything digitally. Um, computing has advanced so much in the last five to ten years to the point where it's now making real changes to the world. Um, and not 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 saying that computing didn't change the world um, years before that. But at the rate, at the ex, at the way it's accelerating, is absolutely phenomenal. You look at the global debt, which is standing at like two hundred and fifteen trillion dollars, and that's and that's debt. And it says here seventy trillion, which which equates to thirty three percent, was added in the last decade alone. That's absolutely mental. And the debt is at a record high. And it's it's ridiculous. And and the, 
and it could be that w which makes cryptocurrency solidify more as a as a legitimate asset of value because this is this global debt is is humongous you look at global real estate real estate is massive and i'm not saying cryptocurrency is going to surpass any of these i'm just saying that it has a lot of room to grow a lot of room to grow and you look at the global real estate at 217 trillion well that's always going to be massive because obviously people need need homes to live in and then you look at derivatives and derivatives alone i mean it just keeps going and going and going and going derivatives alone i mean look at all that look at all those blocks cryptocurrency equates to four of those blocks and that's it and not to mention cryptocurrency is the fastest growing asset class in the world right now it's the fastest growing in the world and I believe it's going to continue to be the fastest, the fastest um, growing asset class in the world, because looking at all these figures, it is, it's, 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 it. How, how, how can it not grow? At least to a, a, at least a trillion dollars, and that's not that's that's not a price prediction. That's just that's just using these figures to state an obvious claim that. The cryptocurrency market will exceed a trillion dollars at some point, especially when regulation comes into it. Especially when regulation comes into it, because it legitimizes the market. Um, there's not really much more to say about this, to be honest with you. I don't think, if you look at all the different cryptocurrencies out there, I'm not saying that while the crypto market is is growing, that all the coins are going to end up growing and that a lot of coins are going to phase out and and but there will be many there will be hundreds of of cryptocurrencies if not thousands of cryptocurrencies that will establish themselves with real use case because it is a huge market and it is a huge market which still has so much room to grow so much room I mean, look, four blocks. It equates to just four blocks. Each block is a hundred, a hundred billion dollars, and cryptocurrency equates to just four of those blocks. And then you, and then you, and then say to yourself, do you really think cryptocurrency isn't going to break, break, break at least a trillion dollars in the future? Look, look at all this. It's it's absolutely ridiculous. At the high end, derivatives are worth uh, up to one point two quadrillion dollars. That's insane, and that is all we've got time for, folks. Unfortunately, because I'm going to work. But if you liked this video, <laughs> leave it a like, subscribe to the channel. I hope people take this piece of information as as a wow. I think we're in pretty good hands when it comes to crypto with our investments to be honest with you. Um there's there's not really words words couldn't really describe that as much as those blocks. And credit to um to to that website. Um I'll leave a link to it in the description below. You can go check a look at you can go check a look, check a look, check a look at it, take a look at it, and um, I, I I challenge someone to count every single block, record themselves counting every single block from start to end. Yeah, that that would be funny. No, no, don't do that. I don't I don't want to waste your time. But um, but yeah, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm off to work, so unfortunately, I don't think I will be uploading this weekend. Um, if anything massive does happen news wise, I am in the position now where I can, I can make and upload a video on the move because I've just, um, I've, uh, a few days ago, I took delivery of my new laptop 
um, which I have a video coming of it soon. I'm not going to disclose what it is because it is a uh, it is very different to what people people are um are recognised of 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 seeing and of hearing of. But um, I mean, as a computing student, as a tech enthusiast, and and everything like that, I feel that this laptop that I have bought, priced to performance, is hands down the best on the market, and and for premium quality as well, um, build quality. But that will be coming in a, in, a, in a separate video um, whenever I get the chance to start editing videos. But until then, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys out um, next week, probably. See you later, guys. Have a, have a fantastic weekend.